This is for all the whiskey drinkers out there. Any whiskey drinkers in the hall? Woo! You are? <laughs> 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 at least, at least we got four. They look like they're too. They look like they're too young to drink whiskey to boot. <laughs> As we song for all the whiskey drinkers, it's called Whiskey in the Jar. Woo! Woo! Last night was cold and over. The fire came came on. I met the captain Farrell, and his buddy he was coming. I first introduced me to them. I then introduced me behavior. Since that, I never learned. That was such fun. <laughs> thank you very much. Awesome. Good luck. Thank you so much, Tom, for playing my festival. It was an honor to play with Woo! you.
All right, guys, um, we are so happy to be here and so excited. Well, we can't really see you guys, but we see a camera. And we're, yeah. <laughs> Wait, can you guys like yell a little bit so we can hear you? down beside me we've got Dawson on the far end on mandolin we have Marquian um, I'm Jordan here we go Town in the county down one morning last July. Down the boring green came a sweet Colleen, and she smiled as she passed me by. She looked so neat in her two bare feet and the sheen of her nut brown hair. Such a cold to nail, I just shake myself to make sure I was standing there. From Montre Bay out to Derry came, from Galway to Dublin town. No maid I've seen like the fair Colleen that I met in the county down. She had a soft brown eye and a look so sly and a smile like a rose in June. And she held each note from her over and throat as she lifted an Irish tune. By her pattern that she'd be in a trance as she skipped through a jig or reel. And the right she rolled, she lifted her soul and her heart she would like me still. From that tree bed up to Derry Cave, from Galway to Dublin town. No maid I've seen but the fair Colleen that I met in the county down. She onwards bent, sure I shook my head and I gave to the feeling that And so says I with the passerby who's a man with the nut brown hair. He looked at me and with bright says he, she's the gem of old Ireland's crown. Young Rosie McCann from the banks of the barn is the star of the county down. From the tree bed out to Derry Cave, from Galway to Dublin town. Oh, may I've seen like the fair Colleen that I met in the county down. Thank you. 
All right, I was gonna take a tune, uh, a song, sorry, a song, a song. <laughs> All right, folks, so I um, had so uh, many like not playing and doing things to, because of COVID. So I'm really disappointed, but there has been some really cool things that happened. I had the opportunity to uh, take some singing lessons, Irish singing lessons with Kathy Jordan, who is from the band Dervish. And apparently she's actually really famous and I didn't realize that. Um, but no, I've been able to learn a bunch of songs for her that are Irish. And I'm going to sing one for you. This is called If I Were Black. <laughs> Oh, I'm a young man, my story is sad. For once I was courted by a brave sailor that courted me, struck me night and by day. But now my dear sailor has gone far away. If I were a flapper, I follow the ship, now we chew the sails in, and all the time can fill my nest. I pedal, I pedal on this heavy white chest. He promised to take me to Tony Brooklyn, to Barry Red Ribbons, to tie up my Count's my favorite singer. Oh, jeez. It's my, it's my <laughs> turn, eh? I'm sorry. Wow, okay, that's, okay. that's fine. Okay. Keith Martin is also my favorite singer, so it just. <laughs> that's the correct answer. Okay. This next one is a tune called Tell Me Ma. Um, it is a staple Irish tune. So if you know it, please, I want to hear you singing along. If you don't know it, you'll learn it quickly. You gotta sing real loud because we're pretty far away. <laughs> I know, we have to hear you guys. You're so quiet. It makes my life a lot easier. The door is even open, guys. Yeah, we hear like, you there. We hear you.
Thank you very much. We can't hear you out there. All right. Now we have another instrumental. Classic uh, session tune, right? Sorry, you say, like to say, Mark in. <laughs> this is a uh, set of jigs I learned from a very, one of my favorite musicians by the name of Paul Hammer. Woo! Woo! <laughs> so Paul, if you are watching this at home, or if you're in the club, this one's for you. This is the Sunny Bourbon set. <laughs> Thank you. 
driving was the apple and now to see her walking through the chapel with the hardest feature and We're having fun. Good. <laughs> well, I just, yeah, I want to say thank you so much, the Art Association, for having us. This was absolutely so much fun. I haven't played like a game like this in like a year. It's crazy. But like, we were going to play gigs that like St. Patty's gigs last year, and they all got canceled. And yeah, no, but we're so happy. And this is actually our first gig, like playing together. Um, yeah. That's one group. That's like a group. Yeah. <laughs> so we're super excited about that. But thank you so much, everyone. Uh, yeah, this is um, Mark and Matthew, uh, Jordan Riley, and Dawson Riley, and my name is Erin O'Kraden. We are so happy, and so happy to be here, and happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone! Woo! Uh, before we do this last one, I want to do a quick shout out to our amazing sound guy, Phil. He's been dealing Thank with you, a Phil. lot of stuff today. He's doing a phenomenal job. Woo! Cheers to Phil!
Bye. My name is Tom McDermott. I go by the name of the Irish Cowboy. Just in case you ever get into an old folks' home, you can see me there any time. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to start off with a little song. This is a song. This is a song goes way back before your parents' time. It was way back before your mothers and your fathers. Actually, recorded in 1921 by a great Irish tenor called John McCormick. It was totally Acapulco. <laughs> Have you ever heard the story of how Ireland got its name? I'll tell you so you'll understand from whence old Ireland came. It's no wonder that we're proud of that land across the sea. For here's the way my dear old mother told the tale to me. This is your time, come on. Sure, a little piece of heaven fell from out of the sky one day, and it nestled in the ocean in a spot not far away. And when the angels found it, it looked so sweet and fair. They said, suppose we leave it, for it looks so peaceful there. So they sprinkled it with stardust, just to make the shamrock grow. It's the only place you'll find them, no matter where you go. And they dotted it with silver to make its lake so grand. And when they had it finished, sure they called it Ireland. Woo! Woo! Okay, I'm going to sing you a little song now. Let's see if we can get the right key going here. This is. This is it was just a beautiful day. I was out in the yard all afternoon there. I was raking the grass. And I just thought of this little song. I think this was recorded by the Clancy Brothers sometime in the early 60s. Oh, the summer time is coming And the trees are sweetly blooming And the wild mountain time Grows around the blooming heather Will you go, lassie, go? This is your part, part. And we'll all go together to a wild mountain time all around the bloom and heather. Will you go, lassie, go? I will build my love a bower round your clear crystal fountain and upon it I will pile all the flowers of the mountain. Will you go, lassie, go? This is your part, come And we'll all go together to the wild mountain time. All around the bloom and heather. Will you go, lassie, go? Sad verse, there's always a sad verse at the end of every ice storm. If my true love she were gone, I would surely find another for the wild mountain time. Goes around the bloom and heather, will you go, lassie, go? And we'll all go together for the wild. Time grows around the blue and heaven. 
Just a beautiful little town. Somebody get a song by Kenny Ferris. We should have a penny for every time I pass through Kenny Ferris. I wish I won in Kenny Ferris. Only for night. I will swim over the deepest ocean. I'm before night. But the sea is wide, and I cannot swim over. And then I Now in Kilkenny, it is reported on marble stones there, I was rising with gold and silver. I would support her, but I sing no more now till I am dead. For I'm drunk today, and I'm self sober, I'm so lower. From town to town, ah, but I sing out my days of number. I'm all being and living now. For I'm drunk. Today, and I'm self sober, and so more from town to town. Ah, but I'm sick now. My days all numbered. I'm all here, I'm back. I'm here now. We have to sing along with you. My lonely prison wall, I heard a young girl call. Oh, nothing matters, Mary, when you're free. Against the famine and the crime, I rebel, they put me down. Now you must raise our child with dignity. Though I in the fields of Adirai, where once they once the small free birds fly, our love was on the wing. We had dreams and songs to sing, 
It's only round the fields of my mind. I only listen warm. I heard a young girl calling. Oh, Michael, they have taken you away. Against the famine and the crown, I rebel, they pull me down. Now we must raise our child with dignity and sympathy. Though life is feet of the mind, were once they watched the small free birds fly. Our love was on the wing. We had dreams and songs to sing. It's only round the fields of our mind. It's so lonely round the fields of my mind. By a lonely harbor wall, she watched the last star fall. As that prison ship sailed out against the sky. Now she lives in hopes and prays to her love and body pain. It's so lonely round the fields of my cry. Here we go, are you ready now? Oh, low lie the fields of my cry, where once they want the small free birds fly. Oh, baby, let the free birds fly. Our love was on the wing. We had dreams and songs to sing. It's so lonely round the fields of our pride. It's so lonely round the fields of our pride. So nice. Thank you very much. This is a song about. It's a song about Dublin. Anybody here from Dublin tonight? <laughs> I hear a few, a few Dubliners in the background. There. Wasting songs and stories, heroes of renown. The passing tales and glories that once was Dublin town. The hall halls and houses, the haunted children's rhymes, they're a part of what was Dublin in the rare old times. This is, this is your part, come on. They were rain rosy. As the light declines, I remember Dublin City in the world of times. Sure, we name it is Sean Dempsey, as Dublin as can be, born hard and late in Pimley Cove, in a house that ceased to be. By trade, I was a cooper. Brought down to redundancy, like my house that fell to progress, my trades and memory. This is your part. Ring, ring, rosy. As the light declines, I remember Dublin City in the railroad times. And I point Peggy Dyken, as pretty as can be, a rogue and a child of Mary from the rebel liberties. I lost her to a student chap with skin as black as coal. When he took her off to Birmingham, he stole away my soul. This is your part of the moment. Ring a ring, Rosie. 
I fly declines. I remember Dublin City in the railroad times. So fare thee well, sweet Annalise. I can no longer stay and watch those new glass cages that spring up along the quay. My mind's too full of memories, too old to hear new chimes. I'm a part of what was Dublin in the rare, in the rare old times. Ring a ring a rosy. As the light declines, I remember Dublin City in the rare old times. Now the years have made me bitter. The gardens dim my brain, for Dublin keeps on changing. Nothing seems the same. The pillar and the men have gone. The royal sits fall down, and the grey one he will be happy makes a city of my town. Here we go. Ring a ring, rosy. As the light declines, I remember Dublin City in the rare old times. I remember Dublin City in the Here's a little song up. It's about a young Irishman who fell in love with a beautiful Irish girl. But he was too fond of the drink. <laughs> he loved a sweet glass of whiskey. No matter here, here. Love he loved lots of wee glasses of whiskey. Whiskey in the jar. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway, he fell in love with this beautiful Irish girl called Kitty Donahue. He was going to take her home to meet the mother-in-law. And the mother-in-law and the young son were sitting by the fire, warming their hands, and they could see they could see Mick McGuire coming up the driveway. And they said, oh, God, get up with that. You have been a brat. Let Mr. McGuire sit down. Don't you know he's going to... He's going to marry your sister, Kate. We're all going to be rich someday. He's a rich farmer. There's no such thing as a rich farmer, right? Just ask anybody from Stonewall. They'll tell you right there. There's no such thing as a rich farmer. Yeah. Anyway, that's what they'll tell you. Okay, here we go. Oh, my name is Mick McGuire. And I'll quickly tell to you of a young girl I admired called Katie Donahue. She was fair and fat and forty, and believe me when I say, that whenever I would come to the door and hear her mommy say, Johnny, get up with the fire, get up and give the man a seat. Can't you see it's Mr. McGuire? Show me caught your sister Kate. Well, you know very well he owns a farm a wee bit out of the town. So get up into that gym and then run and Mr. McGuire sit down. Diddly idle, idle, diddly idle, diddly idle, hey. Diddly idle, idle, diddly idle, diddly idle, hey. Well, you know very well he owns a farm a wee bit out of the town. So get up into that gym and then run and let Mr. McGuire sit down. Woo! The first time that I met her was at a dance in Tampa Gay, and I very kindly asked her if she'd dance a step with me. I asked if I could see her home, if I was going her way, and whenever I went come to the door, you could hear her mommy say, Johnny, get up with the fire, get up and give the man a seat. Can't you see it's Mr. McGuire? Sure, he's caught your sister Kate. Well, you know very well he owns a farm, a wee bit out of the town. So get up with the lad, you hit him in front, let Mr. McGuire sit down. Diddly idle, 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 Sad verse, I told you there's always a there's always a sad verse in Mary's song. <laughs> well now that we are married, 
Her mother's changed her mind. Ever since I drunk the legacy, me father left behind. She hasn't got the decency to fit me time of day. And whenever I would come to the door, you could hear the old one say, Oh, Johnny, come up with a fire, come up, you're sitting in the draft. Sure, it's only on McGuire, and he nearly drives me daft. I don't know what gets in ahead, for he's always on the chair. So sit me a heart and let me and dart in the ball and fire the chair. Diddly idle, idle, diddly 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 idle, day. I don't know what gets in ahead, for he's always on the chair. So sit me a heart and let me and dart in the ball and fire the chair. Diddly idle, 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 I don't know what gets in ahead. For he's always on the chair. So sit me a heart and let me a darling along my part of the chair. Diddly idle, 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 I don't know what gets in the head. For he's always on the chair. So sit me a heart and let me a darling along my part of the chair. Woo! Woo! Amen. Oh, here. There you go. Beautiful little song. This is a song that goes all the way back to the mountains of Moore in Ireland. Uh, this is a song about the fact just after the famine. This song was written in 19, the early 1900s by a boy called Percy French. A great Irish songwriter in his day, but this goes way back. In the 1900s, Ireland was actually starving. They were still, they were just starved. Everybody had left. There was, at that time, there was eight million people in Ireland, and now there's only 400. I think there's just four and a half million people left. It has never recovered. This young man went to London, and went to find work. And he was looking around and he saw these guys digging trenches. He says, what are you doing? He says, we're digging for gold. He says, he's not going to get a job there. He says, this is how the song goes. He's writing back to his girlfriend. Oh, Mary, this London, it's a wonderful sight with the people here looking by day and by night. They don't grow potatoes or barley or wheat, but there's gangs of them digging for gold in the street. At least when I asked them, that's what I was told. So I just took a hand at this thing for gold. But for all that I found, there I might as well be. For the mountains of more, straight down to the sea. As he's walking through London, he sees a guy called Peter O'Loughlin. Peter O'Loughlin's a policeman. He's directed traffic right there in the middle of Piccadilly Circus. Just he's angle that guy who used to live down the street from me and I. Right? You remember young Peter Olaf, of course. Now he's over here working at the head of the force. I met him today. I was crossing the strand, and he stopped the whole street with one wave of his hand. And there we stood talking of days long and gone, while the whole population of London looked on. But with all his great power, he'd much rather be where the mountains of Morn sweep down to the sea. So he's writing back to his girlfriend, and she wants to know how the fashions are. And he's talking to this buddy called Peter O'Loughlin. Peter says, God, there's all sorts of beautiful things here in London you have to see. Sure, there's beautiful girls here. I'm sure, never mind. With beautiful shapes, nature never designed. They have lovely complexions, all roses and green. But a lot in the mark with regards to the same. That if I those roses you venture to sip, sure the color might all come away on her lip. So I'll wait for the wild rose that's waiting for me. When the mountains are born, sweep down to the sea. Now he's writing back, back to his wife or his girlfriend or maybe even both, who knows. And she wants to know how the fashions are in London. Because at that time the ladies in Ireland, they dressed totally from their ankles right to their little chins. The only thing exposed was their feet, their little bare feet, and their hands and their faces. So London been the financial and the fashion capital of the world. She wants to know how the ladies in London are dressed. 
So here she goes. I believe that when writing this verse you expressed, I saw how the fine ladies of London are dressed. Well, if you believe me when asked to the ball, sure they don't wear no tops to their dresses at all. I've seen it myself, and it could not in truth say if they were bound for the ball or the bath. Don't be starting them fashions now, Mary McCree, where the mountains are born, sweep down to the sea. Oh, Mary, this London, it's a wonderful sight with the people here working by day and by night. They don't grow potatoes, nor barley, nor wheat, but there's gangs of them digging for gold in the street. At least when I asked them, that's what I was told. So I just took a hand and just digging for gold. But for all that I found there, I might as well be where the mountains of Moor sweep down to the sea. But for all that I found there, I might as well be where the mountains of Moor sweep down to the sea. Such a nice little song. Anyway, what are we going to sing for you? Just imagine. Here's a little song, probably written in New York City. But it's Irish through and through, you can tell. I guess recorded by a group called The Dan. You have safety stowed away. They say that's why I love you. Ah, but Molly, that's a shame. If you had only 99, sure I'd love you just the same. Oh, Molly! My Irish Molly! Oh, my sweet, I wish that dear. I'm nearly out of my trolley. My Irish Molly, when you are near. Oh, sweet time, you know it's sweet time. Oh, come there, and I don't be slow. Woo! I change your name for what we gave because I'm sure I do the same. My Irish Molly, oh, yeah. Now, Molly here, and did you hear? I furnished up the flags. Three little cozy rooms and a welcome on the mat. They say that's why I love you. Ah, but Molly, that's a shame. If you were only 99, sure I'd love you just to say, Oh, Molly, my Irish Molly! Oh, my sweet, I'm a coochler dear. Not nearly out of my trolley, my Irish Molly, when you are near. Woo! Oh, spring time, you know it's spring time. Oh, come there, now I'll be slow. Woo! I change your name for what we gave because I'm sure I do the same. My Irish Molly, oh yeah. Now Molly here, and did you hear what all the people say about that hundred summons you have safely stowed away? They say that's why I love you. I think Molly, that's a shame. If you had only 99, I'd love you just the same. Oh, Molly! My Irish Molly! <laughs> oh, my sweet, a whistler dear. Not nearly out my trolley. My Irish Molly, when you are near. Yes, sir! Most oh, time, you know it's ring time. Oh, come here, now don't be slow. 
I change your name to walk the game the car. Should I do the same? My Irish Molly. Oh, one more time, go on. Oh, Molly. My Irish Molly. Oh, my sweet. Let's live here. My Irish Molly, when you are near, oh, spring time, you know it's spring time, oh, come there, now don't be slow, I change your name to walk the game, because I'm sure I do the same, my Irish Molly, oh, yeah, oh, my Irish Molly, oh, again, oh, my Irish Molly, oh, woo! How are we doing for time, Tara? We got one time or one more. One more, okay. Well then, I'll make it a. Well, we'll do the party glass. How does that sound? Oh, there we go. Okay, it's just a beautiful little song. And if you know it, you have to help me sing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, all the money that I spent, I spent it in good company. That's you guys. And all the harm that I've done. Alas, it was to none but me. And all I've done for want of wit to many now I can't recall. This is your part. So fill to me a parting glass. Good night and joy be with you all. <laughs> God bless. Thank you very much and happy St. Patty's Day.